What's up guys, Hydrate here. Today I'm going to show you how to find the particular solution and just in general other solutions for higher order differential equations. So we're going to boot up a stage math cell. The link will be in the description for the website. Just going to start by creating a variable for x and then link it to the function for y. And we're going to type in the differential equation from the problem. Because it's a second order differential or a second order derivative. You have to put diff yx2 minus diff yx minus 6 times y is equal to this. And then you can name it whatever. I just put as h and de. But h equals de solve we need de the function and algorithm equals freakas because this is the algorithm used to solve higher order differential equations you can also use laplace but i prefer freakas and show expand h and then evaluate and you get your answer Sometimes it's a little weird and you get these, but as you can see for the particular solution answer, you can just ignore these two. So on to the next one. This time we're given initial conditions. So we can change the differential equation to diff y, y x2 minus 2 times diff y x minus the uh, Minus three times f. Wait, why? Why? I think I keep saying f. I don't know why. Equal to six. And then before the algorithm, put i set yes equals bracket zero because they're both at zero, comma six for the first one, and then seven for the derivative, or twenty nine for the derivative. Then comma again. You can ignore the y c. If, and yp for using sage. So hit evaluate. Then there you go. That gives us the solution for y of x. On to the next one. This time we have a third order one, and solving this one by hand would be very annoying. All we need to do in sage though is x to the power of 3 times the third derivative minus 3 times x to the power of 2 times the second derivative plus 6 times x times the first derivative minus 6 times y equals 0. And then now we change the initial conditions. So they're all starting at 1. So st 1, comma, 7 comma 17 comma 32 and then you can ignore the um y1 y2 y3 i put f again why do i keep putting f that's my fault there we go and that is the particular solution to this problem let's go on to another one Sage makes it really easy to just hammer through homework problems. So we got the third order plus 9 times diff fx equal to 0. And then at 0, it's 1, the derivative is negative 1, and the double derivative is, or second derivative is 1. And then hit evaluate. I put what f again. Whoops. And then there you go. You get the particular solution to that problem. We got one final problem here. This time we it wants us to use the method of undetermined coefficients, but with Sage, you don't really need to because it does it for you. 
minus div y of x minus 2 times y is equal to 7 times x plus 4. And since there are no initial conditions, we can get rid of that. Hit evaluate. Then again, you can ignore these two, and then that is your answer. So that is how you solve higher order differential equations with and without particular solutions. So thank you so much for watching.